Dr. Stephen Mobley here talking to you about your best possible care after your cosmetic fat transfer. A couple things to go through. First of all, you're going to have an ACE wrap wrapped around the legs, typically somewhere between the knee to the upper thigh. Sometimes we take the fat from the abdomen, in which case you'll have like a little cosmetic binder around your abdomen, most commonly the legs. One really important thing to think about with fat, cool compresses can be very beneficial. They can help with swelling and bruising. Ice cold compresses can be detrimental. The ice can be so cold that it can inhibit the fat's ability to get a new blood supply and can actually affect the final amount of fat that will take in your face. When you get home, make a simple little ice bath. When you put your finger in it, it should be cool but not ice cold. Take a washcloth that's not one of your favorites and just cut a little simple square piece of washcloth. When you wring it out with the cool, not ice cold water on it, you apply that to the cheek area where the fat transfer occurred, and that's going to be just the right weight. It's going to be heavy enough from the moisture in the cloth, and it's going to be cold enough because it's cool and not ice cold. Make sure you apply those cool compresses on and off around the clock for the first 24 to 48 hours following your fat transfer. If you do that, you'll get some of that normal swelling and bruising to be minimal. Everyone's going to bruise and swell a little bit, but if you follow those directions, that's the best way to get the best final result from your cosmetic fat transfer. Let's talk just a few more minutes about the donor site, which is most commonly going to be somewhere between your knee, to upper thigh, and sometimes your abdomen. Again, like we've said, you're going to be wrapped with an ACE wrap. For the first day or two, the legs might weep a little bit of the local anesthetic that we place beneath the skin. So in your bed, take like a beach towel or a bed sheet that's not one of your favorites. Place that beneath your legs. So if you have some of that weeping, it doesn't soil your main bedding that you like. After 24 hours, remove the ACE wrap from your leg and do a little bit of sort of a milking motion. The usual spot we get underneath the skin is near the knee. So you want to kind of milk from upwards to downwards. Then take that ACE wrap, rewrap yourself. So you basically will have the ACE wrap on for the 24 hours from when you initially leave our surgical facility to when you get home. Then remove it, then do one milking, then rewrap for another 24 hours. Then you can remove the wrap and you're done with that.